Hi there, welcome to this Alchemist Chemistry video where I'm going to try and produce models to represent elements, compounds and mixtures. But I'm going to try and use objects you might find lying around the home, namely these plastic ball pit balls, to produce my elements, compounds and mixtures models. Let's get started. First of all, it's worth us defining exactly what we mean by the term element. So an element is a pure substance made up of only one type of atom, and it cannot be broken down into anything simpler through chemical means. So the first element I've chosen to model here is the noble gas neon. Now, noble gases are inert, and therefore their atoms do not react and bond to atoms of other elements unless in extreme circumstances. And so gases like neon tend to be monoatomic in nature. Hence, my model is individual atoms of neon in the gaseous state separate from each other. Now, I can tell this is a model of an element because all of the plastic balls are the same color. Therefore, each represents the same element or atoms of the same element, in this case, neon. This would be an example of a gaseous noble gas elemental structure. Next, we have a model of oxygen in the gaseous state. Now, you can see the difference here is we have molecules of oxygen. So each of these is a diatomic molecule with two oxygen atoms covalently bonded together. This still counts as an elemental structure because all of my oxygen molecules contain the same colored balls and therefore are atoms of the same element. So each of these molecules has two oxygen atoms covalently bonded together and these molecules are in the gaseous state moving around at high speed. So this would be an example of a diatomic molecular elemental structure. My final element example is iron, and this is solid iron. And this time you can see that the atoms of iron are arranged in a very regular repeating pattern known as a lattice. This is a giant structure and will repeat many times over to create the solid structure of the iron. But this is still an example of an elemental structure because all of the colored balls are the same. All of these balls represent atoms of iron bonding together strongly to form a giant metallic structure. And that would be an example of a solid elemental structure. But just to reiterate, the key definition here is that elements are pure substances made up of only one type of atom, and they can't be broken down to simpler substances through chemical means or chemical reactions. We're now going to look at how compounds differ to elemental structures. So let's start off with the key definition of how compounds are different elements. Compounds are substances comprised of atoms of two or more different elements that have been chemically bonded together, and they cannot be separated by physical means. So let's look at my first example of a compound, water. Water's formula is H2O. So molecular water contains one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms, represented here by the blue ball for the oxygen atom and the two red balls for the hydrogen atoms. And they are bonded chemically together through covalent bonding. That means that this molecule contains two different types of atom and therefore is not an element, but a compound. And this represents two molecules of water. The second example of a compound is gaseous carbon dioxide with the formula CO2. So the yellow ball in the center represents a carbon atom chemically bonded to two oxygen atoms either side. Again, this is an example of a compound because I have two different types of atom making up my molecular structure. And this is two molecules of carbon dioxide, one here and one here. I realize I've been using the term molecule a lot without actually explaining what I mean by that term. Molecules specifically must be small structures that are held together through covalent bonding. Now, molecules can be both elemental and compounds in nature. So oxygen is an example of a molecular element, as it has two oxygen atoms, two atoms of the same kind, covalently bonded together, whereas carbon dioxide is an example of a compound, which is also a molecule, because it contains one carbon and two oxygen atoms that have been covalently bonded together. So you can see the term compound is more of a catch-all term, which simply means substances that contain more than one type 
of atom of different elements that have been chemically bonded together. Just before I talk to you guys about mixtures and how to model those, I'd like to say if you found this video useful and insightful and helpful, then please do think about giving it a like, maybe thinking about subscribing to the channel, or even ringing the bell to keep notified of our latest content. We try and put videos out on a weekly basis. Right, back to this one. So the definition for a mixture is a little bit different. It is a combination of two or more substances, that could be elements or compounds or both, that are not chemically bonded together. They have no fixed ratio or proportion to each other. So unlike in compounds where there is a set ratio of atoms of different elements to each other that makes up the formula of the compound, mixtures have no fixed ratio or proportion. They are literally a random assortment of elements, compounds, or both. And finally, they can be separated through physical means. What that means is separation techniques will be able to separate the mixture into its various components. So here's my example of a mixture, and you can see it's a mixture of both elements and compounds. So firstly, I have my water molecule again. There's the oxygen and two hydrogen atoms chemically bonded together to form that compound there. We have a second different compound. This is the carbon dioxide. There's my single atom of carbon chemically bonded to two surrounding oxygen atoms either side. So we've got compound A, compound B. And my third molecule, top left, is actually an elemental molecule. This could be something like nitrogen or chlorine. And it has two atoms of the same kind chemically bonded together. So that is a elemental molecule and two compound molecules all in the same place. This is a combination of elements and compounds known as a mixture. And I could use a suitable physical separation technique to start the process of separating out these different substances from each other. And hopefully a card should appear in this video linking to simple distillation, starting your journey, investigating those separation techniques. So that about wraps up this investigation on how to model elements, compounds and mixtures. About time too, because I'm sure my son will be getting pretty angry at me taking all his toys. Great talking to you as always, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye now.